The Nigerian delegation, led by its Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabi Amila, was in Ghana on a fact-finding mission to ascertain recent media reports over alleged brutalities being meted out to Nigerian traders in Ghana. In the last few months, Nigerian traders in Ghana have clashed with their Ghanaian counterparts, leading to the closure of their shops. The Ghana Union of Traders, Guta, which is leading the charge, says Nigerian traders are involved in retail business, which is against the laws of Ghana. Guta is also accusing the Nigerian traders of selling substandard products at cheap prices, a practice the Ghanaian traders say is killing their businesses. In today's meeting, President Akufado rejected allegations that Nigerians in Ghana are being more treated. statement from the Federal Minister for Information came out. I have to confess that I was alarmed. There's, there's very little point in being diplomatic. Over. I was alarmed when I read the statement that these are really the, the attitudes and sentiments of the federal government of Nigeria. Then we were in, in a really serious problem. You have to know that the, the, the populations, the Nigerian population in Ghana, are safe. They are the home of brothers. They have been here. Many of them have been here for I don't know, over centuries. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and have been trading and doing business here and, and working and intermarrying and all of that without any difficulties. And that uh, that will continue. That culture of, of, of cooperation and brotherliness between us will continue. I want to leave those as my concluding remarks to you. And that the, whatever the initial problems that we have today, those will be resolved. Speaker Femi Bajaba Mila on his part called for the setting up of a Ghana Nigeria Business Council backed by law to deal with such incidents. Was the establishment of a Ghana Nigeria Business Council backed by legislation on both sides? And that affords, we think, us to have something coded or a statute form to guide our relationship in terms of business moving forward. And there have been templates, I believe, with other countries as well. And there's nothing as good as a bilateral trade agreement backed by law between two countries. It gives a better understanding and it achieves more and, uh, and produces even uh, better results.